Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video and today we'll be retouching this image that you see on my screen right now. Alright, so this image was taken with a Nikon, actually no, why am I saying Nikon? This was actually taken with the Sony a7 III camera. I was using the 28-75mm to lens, f2.8 lens as you can see right here. And I was shooting at 1 over 1 25th of a second, I was shooting at 3.2 and my ISO was at 1600. Well, 1,600. You must be wondering why my ISO is so high. Well, I was actually shooting using a LED light. So, I wasn't using any flash or anything like that. Just a LED light and the camera itself. So, that's the reason why it was like that. I actually had a behind the scene, but I sold the Z6. And I thought that I saved the file for the behind the scene. But I only have the B-roll. So, yeah. So, let's get right to editing this image. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate the image and then I am going to just clean up the pimples from the model's skin. Alright, I always like to do it like this. I'm using the patch tool, so you just press P on the keyboard for the patch tool. Or you can hold on on shift and press P until you see, let me see. Actually, no. You hold on on, um, not P. P is for the pen tool. Hold on on shift and you press J until you see the uh, patch tool appears. Alright, so I like to use a patch tool to remove blemishes from the model's skin or I use a clone stamp tool, but you can use whatever tool uh, works for you, alright? So what I'm doing right now, obviously, is just to remove the pimples from the model's skin. I'm doing that pretty quick. Alright. Good like that let's come down here the model actually did her own makeup um, she's really good at doing her own makeup and we do not have a lot of retouching to do just the basic dodge and burning and frequent separation and just removing the pimples just like all the other videos but this one is going to be super super easy all right let me see I don't think there's anything else there for me to remove. That looks good. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to work on uh, her nails because her nails were actually growing out. So we're going to work on that. So I'm going to create a new layer. And then I'm going to press B on the keyboard for the brush. My brush is at 1% for the flow. I'm going to put that to about 8%. And then I'm going to hold it on Alt and then sample the area where I'd like to paint from. So I'm just going to take my time and paint. I'm just going to take my time because I want it to look as real as possible. Alright, that looks good. Uh, Alright, let me just undo a little bit. Alright, I think I like that. So I'm going to go on to the other one and I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to sample from right here and just paint right here. don't want to do too much so all I'm doing I'm just sampling the areas while I paint and you can lower the uh, the flow a little bit more so it doesn't apply too much at once but the lower the flow is the better right doing the same thing for this one as well uh, normally though, I would suggest that you do different layers for each nails because sometimes you may want to lower the opacity for uh, one and then because you do everything on one layer, you will not have the flexibility to lower the opacity for one of the nails. So always try to do uh, more than one layers so you can adjust them. All right? But I always think that the less layers you have, the faster Photoshop will <laughs> run. I don't know why I think that. I just think that. So all I'm doing is to paint in. I mean, remember guys, there are more than one ways to do any adjustments. And this is what I do. You can actually use the clone stamp tool to, to uh, work on our nails. But I choose to use the brush and the paint. So yeah. All right, so the next step now, I'm going to create a new layer. Control shift alt e to create a new layer then i'm gonna um 
come over here to the frequent separation action. All right, you can check the link in the description for the frequent separation action, and you can also check the card for the instructions on how to install and download the action as well. All right. All right, so I'm going to go to the frequent separation right here. It's loading. All right, so for the radius, I'm going to keep that at 6.4. You can go up to 10 if you wish, but 6.4 works well for me. I'm going to go down to the low frequency layer. I'm going to press M on the keyboard for the mixer brush. Guys, remember, my mixer brush is taken out from under brushes. So if you want to get your mixer brushes on the brushes, you can just hold on on Shift. Uh, you can click on the brush tool and then hold on on Shift and, and then B. And then press B until you see the, um, the mixer brush. So the mixer brush is like is this. And ensure that it's cleared. Uh, if this first time you're using a mixer brush, ensure that it's cleared and then ensure that 2% is, is at wet. And everything else remains the same. Do not, click, do not click sample all layers, all right? So I'm going to go here. And then I'm going to get my brush a little bit bigger by using the bracket on the keyboard. I'm using the left and right bracket. The left bracket is to get it smaller. The right bracket gets it bigger. And then what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to blend the skin. I don't want to apply too much because I don't want the skin to get too soft because her skin is already looking soft because of the makeup. So we don't want to apply too much at one um, section of the skin. So I'm just casually going over different section just to blend it out a little bit. Right, we don't want to do too much. We're just going to just go over a certain area and move on to another area. Alright, so I do the forehead. Alright, I'm gonna do above her eye. Alright, that looks good. Just gonna blend out here a little bit more. Uh let me undo that a little bit. All right, so I'm going to do a before and after and see what it looks like. So I'm just going to close this and then before, after. Right here, I think I need to adjust right here a little bit. So I'm going to go to the high frequency layer. I'm going to press J on the keyboard for the patch tool. And I'm just going to patch right here. Let's bring it up to this area. It had a dark spot. Uh, so I just wanted to remove that. Uh, not sure if what I'm trying to do is working. Let me see. All right, I'm going to go back down to the mixer brush, and I'm just going to try to blend it out a little bit because using, uh, using that tool is not working like how I expected it to. All right, that's fine. I think I'm going to use Dodge and Burn to brighten up there a little bit. All right, so I think that is it for the frequency separation. Now I'm going to go to the dodge and burn. So I'm going to come back over here to actions and click on dodge. So basically what I'm going to do right now is to brighten the dark areas. The areas that I think that should have some light. So let's do this right now. Uh, be on the keyboard for the brush. I'm going to put my flow at 1%. And then right here I think I want to add some light. Just a little bit of light. Right under the eye I want to add some light there as well. And then here as well. maybe right here and the chin and the forehead let's look at the before and after i think i want to add some right here as well all right that looks good all right so let me see what's will happen All right, good. So I think that is it. There's a line right here. Let me see if I could just blend it out a little bit. Like that. All right, that looks good. All right, I'm going to go to the dodge tool now. Well, not dodge, burn. Because I want to 
fix right here a little bit. I think right there is, I think we need to darken it a little bit and maybe here as well. All right. I think that works. Let's look at the before and after for everything. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come down to the background layer, holding an alt on the keyboard and press once. And then it gives me the before. And that's the after. Once again, before, after. I think I want to zoom in a little bit more and remove some more. So I'm going to the high frequency layer and then maybe remove some more of these uh, blemishes here. And then right here on the lip. Good. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do some color grading. So I'm going to go back to the top and then I'm going to go Control Shift Alt E to create a new layer. Then Control J to do a duplicate. And then I'm going to go here to filter and go to camera raw. And I'm just going to do some color grading in camera raw. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come down to the shadows. I'm going to bring up the shadows a little bit like that. And then I'm going to come down to clarity. I'm going to apply uh, maybe 2% to the, to the uh, clarity, just 2. And then I'm going to apply 3 for the texture. And then for the contrast, I'm going to do 6. And then dehaze, I'm going to do about 9 for the dehaze. Let's look at the before and after for everything. So this is the before and this is the after. Subtle change, nothing too much. But I'm gonna keep the before and after. Wait. Yeah, so I'm gonna zoom out a little bit more. So I wanna keep this before and after so I can see what I'm doing. All right, so I'm gonna come over here to the split tone and then I'm gonna bring up the saturation a little bit on the split tone, like right there. And then I'm gonna go up here to the hue for the highlights just a little bit like that good then i'm gonna press ok because i'm done with uh applying the color then i'm gonna come over here to the color lookup and remember you can download this um action or my actions by going to my website <laughs> all right so this image looks good just like this but i want to lower the opacity so i'm gonna put 50 and then i'm gonna come over here to the blue apply the blue and that is it for the image. What I think I want to do now, I think I want to blend here a little bit more. Let me press enter. Let me see. I think I want to blend here a little bit more. So I'm going to create a new, well, I'm going to put everything in a group like this. So what I did, I select the first one, then come down to the, the background layer. Well, the duplicated background layer or the copy. And then I'm going to press Control G to put it in a group. Then I'm going to go to the background layer and create a new frequency separation action. All right. Okay. Then I'm going to press M on the keyboard for my mixer brush. Remember, your mixer brush is nested under brushes. I'm just going to blend here a little bit more. Let's look at it before and after for that. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to see anything because the frequency separation layer is under the group. So I have to put it to the top. Put it to the top, what you do is to hold it on Control, Shift, and then the right bracket key, and it brings it to the top. So before, after. I think I want to lower the opacity a little bit, like right there, and that's it. Right, so that is it for the image. There is nothing else I think I need to do, but I think I need to go down here to the low frequency layer again, mix a brush, and then I think I want to blend here a little bit more, right here. For some reason, I just want to blend it a little bit more. All right, good. So let's look at it before. And, oh, you know what? <laughs> I want to blend here as well some more. So this is the thing, guys. You should not rush when you're doing your editing. I have to rush this video because I don't want it to be long. I don't want you guys to be sitting down for 20 minutes watching me editing. So you get the drift of what I'm doing. You understand exactly what I'm doing. Let me check her hand. I don't think I need to do anything to her hand. Her hand looks good. So that is it for the image. So I'm just going to uh, duplicate the layer. Right click, duplicate. And I'm going to show you guys the before and after. 
right so that's just the before and after that you're seeing right there so if you've learned anything from this uh video you know exactly what to do <laughs> so thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for another video